I'm really super excited about this. All right, so if you're a dinosaur buff, then you're gonna love this because they just discovered a new dinosaur. A new dinosaur. Giant carnivore of his <laughs> A new dinosaur. Now, do you remember when you were a kid? Yeah, cute kid like that. Dinosaurs were fascinating, right? And maybe if you had a book, you thought you knew them all. Well, the times are changing with each new discovery, and this is a big one. And that's why I'm right here at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. To help me learn about this new dinosaur, we're actually going to meet with the scientist who discovered it, Dr. Lindsay Zano. It's not just any dinosaur, it's a mega predator. So it's a giant carnivorous dinosaur, about the same size as a T-Rex. It's probably the second or third biggest uh, meat-eating dinosaur that's ever been found in North America. And we haven't found uh, one of these dinosaurs for over 60 years. The new dinosaur is named Siats Micarorum. Siats Micarorum. And Siats is actually a Native American name that means man-eating monster. Why Siats instead of Siatsosaurus? You know, it's boring. Know we're, we're all of us uh, scientists are bored with Saurus names. I am. So I don't think, I've never named a dinosaur out of the dinosaurs that I've named that ended in Saurus. They've all been just unique names. Okay, let's step back for just a second. We've probably all imagined ourselves looking up at a giant T-Rex, right? I mean, it's really big. It's giant. In fact, big enough to squish you in one stomp. <laughs> oh, God, it's ginormous. Oof. And this is Siats, which is just about as big. But unlike the giant T-Rex, it lived in a completely different time in history. We know a ton about the dinosaurs that lived in North America during the late Jurassic. Those are all the dinosaurs you grew up with as a kid. Stegosaurus, Allosaurus, Camarasaurus. Um, and then we know a ton about the dinosaurs that lived at the very end of the reign of dinosaurs, like Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus. But there are tens of millions of years in between those different dinosaur faunas, and we have basically no idea what lived here in between. So what we did is we launched an expedition to go out to rocks of those ages and look and see what kinds of dinosaurs were here. And what we found is that it's a whole nother ecosystem of dinosaurs that's composed of unique groups of dinosaurs that we didn't even know existed on North America during that time including the giant Seats. Who's, you know, top dog in his ecosystem. And right next to him, living at the same time in the same place, we have tiny little tyrannosaurs that are about the size of a Great Dane. The tyrannosaurs were kind of just running around being the small predators in the ecosystem because they couldn't compete with this giant carnivore that was living at the time. But when those animals, when those Carcharodontosaurians went extinct in North America, that's when Tyrannosaurs were able to fill was basically a void in the ecosystem and evolve into the giants that we know and love. Here we have it, the new dinosaur, Seats. All right, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to Untamed Science, we've got new videos every week. Oh, and if you're really interested in this new dinosaur, I put uh, links in the description below, so check them out. And I just wanted to say a special thanks to Pearson's Online Learning Exchange, which helped bring you this video. If you're a teacher, you should check it out. It's pretty awesome.